So you hear all the time in the news media that antibiotics are primarily used to promote growth in livestock. Is that true? Realistically, when you look at the data from the industry, only about 13% of antibiotics used are actually used for growth promotion in the livestock industry. Um, so, you know, that's, that's probably not a real valid statement to say that. Um, you know, and then also the FDA has come out with some new guidance here uh, last year in 2013 that's actually requested feed companies and antibiotic producing companies to um, voluntarily withdraw those products that uh, antibiotics that are used for feed or to increase growth promotion um, to voluntarily remove those uh, from from their labeling and uh, 25 of 26 companies have agreed to that right now which covers the vast majority of growth promoting growth promoting antibiotics that are used today but can we really expect people to follow a voluntary program you know i, I think so um, i think that the uh, feed companies as well as animal health companies and producers um, really do have the best interest of the animals as well as um, the food products that they produce and um, the consumer's best interest uh, at heart when they're trying trying to produce these animals that are going to go into the food chain um, so we will actually see that uh, these ana that um, veterinarians are going to become more involved in uh, in this process, and so these uh, antibiotics will now have to be prescribed by a licensed veterinarian, and they're also going to um, veterinarians are going to become more involved in the process through the use of prescriptions as well as um, oversight of any type of antibiotic that's used, um, and so with that, uh, the licensed veterinarian has to take into account what's the best antibiotic to be used, as well as what's the overall health impact of using an antibiotic going to be on the, that animal's well-being, as well as the overall health of the herd. Why do we need antibiotics at all? Antibiotics are used in livestock production just the same way um, that they would be in humans. You know, livestock can get sick, they can get a disease condition or anything like that. So they're used to treat or prevent um, these disease conditions um, to ensure that livestock uh, have the best quality of care and the best um, animal well-being possible in the industry. We don't typically give antibiotics to children to prevent disease in a group. Why do we give it every now and then to livestock to prevent disease in a herd? When we proactively provide antibiotics to livestock, typically that's in a situation where an animal could be stressed, such as after weaning, um, and their immune system or their immune response can um, decrease a little bit due to that stress. And so if we th provide these uh, in a preventative manner, it can oftentimes prevent disease or a disease outbreak within a herd. And so that can be a very effective use of antibiotics because we could actually decrease the number that we would need later. If you're on a farm that's committed to no antibiotics and an animal gets sick, what do you do? You know, that's a great question. Um, most producers that run an antibiotic-free farm, um, they will typically have a program where they have an antibiotic free and then the veterinarian would say well this animal sick needs to be treated with antibiotics and so they would either remove that remove that animal from uh, from that program that would be an antibiotic free or they could possibly treat that animal and then sell it to another producer that could then put it uh, into the food chain. So it's not that animals that are raised without antibiotics don't get sick it's just that they won't be marketed as antibiotic free if they do. That is absolutely correct. Okay, that helps clarify things.